Hello, I just want to do a quick recap on nanobot technology or nanotechnology. Um, I did some videos uh, earlier and they're in my channel somewhere on nanobot technology. But right here it says biological computer destroys cancer cells. Alright, this is Believers Underground and Patriotic Truther. And I recommend their channels. I really enjoy uh, being informed by them. And then this is, I'm not sure who this is. I think they were making a spoof. But at the beginning of this, uh, they did have some information on nanobots and on cells, cancer cells. They talked about cells multipl multiplying and the reason lung cancer or any kind of cancer cell is so devastating is because they don't know when to stop multiplying. And I'm thinking, if you go to this channel right here, and watch the beginning it's all informational and then of course there's two guys that then you know right around ha almost halfway through they start doing a little kind of a play on lung cancer but before that is some really good information uh, that they talk about well in fact you can listen to it real quick just some of it location signals while the thicker are the recipients a special blue cylindrical component signifies the aplatonic signal center more importantly, the large blue circle with the line represents the injector. It's hard to read. Anyway, so you'll get, it'll be information kind of like that. And it just goes on. Anyway, uh, I think it, it's all, there's DNA and lung cancer. Let's see what this says real quick. The absences of specific genes, then the deoxyribonucleic acid changes can cause diseases such as cancer. If the deoxyribonucleic acid is corrupted, then the messenger ribonucleic acid will be corrupted as well. This will occur through the process of transcription, where the deoxyribonucleic acid acts as a basis to create the messenger ribonucleic acid. The final outcome would be a corrupted strand of messenger ribonucleic acid going towards the ribosomes. Similarly, if the messenger ribonucleic acid is corrupted, then proteins would become corrupted too. Because of the process of translation, the messenger ribonucleic acid would act as a basis for the transfer ribonucleic acid. Since both of these ribonucleic acids become corrupted, then amino acid chain will also become corrupted. The end product would be a dysfunctional protein. Since proteins are enzymes, the dysfunctioning enzyme would increase the severity of cancer by decreasing the immunity of the cells. Well, it can be concluded that the major causes and promoters of lung cancer are gene mutation, dysfunctional enzymes, and inhaling carcinogens most of the time. Okay, y'all can go watch this. I was hoping it would talk about the um, multiplication of, uh, of course, now that's the guys. And, I mean, I think they have a great introduction to all of this. I was trying to find, like I said, where the genes multiply. And this nanobot technology uh, would go in there and actually, you know, change the information and stop the cells from multiplying somehow. Uh, let's see. Um, I just wanted to talk about this interesting, what it says here in this book. Uh, this is embraced by the light. And I know that it's not endorsed by the Christian community. I know that. I've read it a bunch and I've marked a lot of pages in it. I am a Christian, believe in Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Son of God. It's the only way to get to heaven. But um, this book gives us a lot of insight, and I've marked a lot of pages. I'll do another video on it later as to why I believe that this lady is a Christian, even though a lot of people don't want to believe she is. I think it's because, um, you know, they're uncomfortable with reading anything that's not in the Bible, uh, about Jesus, about God, but I, she talks about God being the creator and the creator of the whole universe, and she talks about Jesus being the Son of God. So, to me, you know, even right here she's got scripture, for as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, Proverbs 23, 7. There's scripture all through this book. Um, but I wanted to talk about this one paragraph. All healing takes place from within, 
Our spirits heal our body. A doctor's sure hands may perform surgery, and medicine may provide ideal circumstances for health, but it is the spirit then that affects the healing. A body without a spirit cannot be healed. It cannot live for long. I was shown that the cells of our body were engineered to provide life indefinitely. They were programmed in the beginning to regenerate themselves to replace old cells that had become ineffective or damaged so that life would not end but something but something changed this I was not shown exactly what the process was but I understood that death had entered mortality in the Garden of Eden I was shown that there was a Garden of Eden and I was shown that decisions there created conditions that make eternal life in mortality impossible our bodies must die but there is still the power within us using faith and positive energy to alter ourselves so that we can be healed if it is right we must remember that God's will is always involved in healing okay so I mean it talks about positive thinking you know if you're always talking about your aches and pains and oh my sufferings you're going to be sick anyway as you can see she talks about God's will okay I mean obviously if it's not his will no matter what the doctors do and no matter what positive thinking you have you are going if it's his will you're going to go so that's why all through her book she talks like this i know there are a few times she sounds a little bit new agey but she always then you know see throughout receiving this information i developed a relationship and knowledge of the savior that i will always cherish you know and so I mean, she still talks about, still surrounded by light, Jesus smiled at me, and I felt his approval. You know, I mean, she talks, she talks about Jesus all through the book. Um, so, yeah, I, I didn't really see anything in it. I've read it, you know, two or three times, and I'm still looking. I've got pages marked, but I don't really want to, this isn't really about the book. This is more about, let's see. Oh, yeah. A New Ager believes in reincarnation. Well, with her near-death experience, she actually was corrected on that. She says, uh, so that leads me to believe that some of the things that she previously believed, she does not now, and that's good. Uh, let's see. We understood the influences we would have upon each other in this life and the physical and behavioral attributes we would receive from our families. We were aware of the genetic coding of more mortal bodies and the particular physical features we would have we wanted and needed these we understood that memories would be contained in the cells of our new bodies this was an idea that was completely new to me I learned that all thoughts and experiences in our lives are recorded in our subconscious minds they are also recorded in our cells so that not only is each cell imprinted with a genetic coding it is also imprinted with every experience we have ever had Further, I understood that these memories are passed down through the genetic coding to our children. These memories then account for many of the passed on traits in families such as addictive tendencies, fears, strengths, and so on. I also learned that we do not have repeated lives on this earth. When we seem to remember a past life, we are actually recalling memories contained in the cells. So, like I said, to me, her near-death experience actually corrected her thinking because she grew up um, with an Indian mother in a lot of the new age type of beliefs and she was actually now like she talked about she actually now saw the man behind the universe the creator so anyway you know there's a lot of conspiracy about this book a lot of you know uncertainty but I got a lot out of it. The reason I wanted to bring this book up and connect it to the nanobot technology and the, you know, comp biological computer destroy cancer cells is because it's interesting how she talks about uh, in the Garden of Eden, we were created originally for our cells to reproduce constantly good cells. And even though I am... I am grown in my spiritual uh, maturity. I used to read a lot of romance fiction that was not very um, clean a little bit. And so the books, Accidental Vampire by Lindsay Sands, uh, I wouldn't recommend it for kids, of course. But 
in those books, I was going to see if I could do a search on it, but uh, in those books, she talks about the nanotechnology, the nanobots, the survivors of the um, Atlantis, and how they survived the flood that sunk Atlantis because of the nanobot technology that 